America does not really know what's happening on the border. The border is an interesting place. It's a totally different world. This is the war zone right here. I think it's a very dangerous time. People are scared. People are afraid. There's no shortage of holes on the border. It begins in Mexico. That's where the drugs begin and that's where the cash ends. It feels like it's a movie and I'm telling somebody's story. Eres cosa de te regaña tu señora y ya no puedes andar en de la bola. The border was my home for seven years. It was an incredible learning experience. You'll find so much Mexican culture, from the music to the food to the way that people dress. Major issues along the border. Obviously, there's the illegal immigration issue. So we're securing the border to the best of our capabilities. Tens of thousands of people, you know, are crossing every week. The border is very vulnerable. It's wide open. It's very, very porous. People are swimming across the river. People are running through the brush without water and without food, trying to get a better life. They're chasing a dream. And sadly, a lot of them don't make it. A lot of people end up dying in the brush. Since 2005, we probably had close to 500 bodies found. They're left behind, they get lost out here in this brushy terrain, can't find their way out, can't find water, and they ultimately end up dying. And a lot of them are murdered. Up to date, we have uh, 47 bodies that we have located for this, for this year alone. It's a sad thing when, when that happens. When people die trying to cross into the United States and their remains can't be identified, they end up in this tiny little corner of the cemetery and it's kind of known as the cemetery for the unknowns. You look at these grave markers and literally all it will say is unknown male, unknown female. And you know when you're there, it really hits you that this was somebody. There are other sons or, or daughters or, or dads or, or uncles. They're humans. These people are humans, even though they're coming across illegally. It's just one of those things that we deal with. This is their last stop in the United States. What you're seeing is the Mexican removals. You know, when somebody is caught and they're taken to a detention center, they go to the immigration judge. If the judge orders them removed, then we enforce that removal. Maybe they don't like it, but they understand that this is the process, this is the system, this is the way it works. And uh, a lot of these people say that they plan to come back. When do you plan to come back to the U.S.? Uh, as soon as possible. As soon How are you going to come up? How are you going to come back? Uh, the same time, the first time. The river. The river. And so for a lot of them, they, they get on that bus, they're driven to the border. Martina Rodriguez, Mendoza Martinez. They walk across to Mexico, and days or weeks later, they're back swimming across the river back in the United States. I think the biggest change that I noticed during seven years on the border was when I first moved there, it was still considered safe to cross into Mexico. The sad thing that changed was that Mexico became increasingly dangerous. That violence is all drug-centered. Now I can tell you this, the U.S. on the border is relatively safe. There is some spillover violence. There's quite a bit of spillover violence, as a matter of fact, but it's safe. A year later, we still feel like it's a nightmare. We keep telling people to stay on the U.S. side of the border. Just don't go to Mexico. You see a lot of people get themselves in trouble in these areas. Falcon Lake, it's a beautiful lake. It uh, obviously symbolizes for Tiffany Hartley one of the worst days of her entire life. This is the lake that ultimately my husband died in. Even before David Hartley's murder, there were incidents on that lake involving these so-called Mexican pirates who are really, you know, drug cartel members. When David and Tiffany Hartley tried to run away, these men were armed and they opened fire and they hit David. And Tiffany Hartley had to watch her husband die. I hate it without you. Honey, I miss you so much. <laughs> It 
it's sad to see what's happened along the border. You know, I want people to know that this is a real place and these are real people. And what happens on the border directly affects us here as well, whether it's illegal immigration or whether it's drug smuggling. The reality is we're all connected to what's happening on the border and we need to pay attention to it.